Spring has arrived in Gotham, and with it comes City Hall's quarterly crime report. Crime is way down since the fall of the children of Arkham, marking another triumph for newly minted police commissioner James Gordon. In a statement this morning, Gordon credited his success to the public partnership between the police and the Batman. He praised the mysterious vigilante for his sacrifice, describing him as essential to the security of the city. Things are looking up, citizens. After the long, dark winter comes the thaw. Now, if only the Knights could win a game, everyone would be happy. Lucky 13! There it is. Rumi Mori, import export magnet, one time Pipex CEO, international arms dealer. The world sees Mori as a legitimate businessman, a philanthropist who gives to charity, not a criminal getting rich off the suffering of innocence, a masterful performance. I wonder if a man hides in plain sight for that long, does he forget who he really is? What do you think, Master Bruce? Must be hard to stay true to yourself. I don't. I never forget what drives me. Protecting the innocent from people like Mori. That stays the same no matter what mask I wear. Don't I know? Masks are hard to maintain. If there are cracks in Mori's, we'll find them. The GCPD already bugged his penthouse and found nothing. Meaning that if he's doing arms deals in Gotham... They happen on the casino floor. I need to find a way to hear what Maury is saying. Standing by for support. Look for something with a microphone. The bat computer can intercept his communications. Well, looks like roulette is his Achilles heel. He has a reputation for being lucky. But then you don't need luck when you own the house. He certainly enjoys the good life, doesn't he? Made a fortune running guns during the Arab Spring. Diversified into biotech shortly after. From what I understand, he is not one for pinching pennies. Al, I'm hacking into Maury's phone. Encrypting your signal. Last thing we want is for him to know you're here. We're in. You should be able to pick up audio from Maury's phone. Is everyone enjoying themselves? Don't worry. I won't tell anyone with a bad... He's on a roll. <laughs> it's only a matter of time before he gets too chatty. <laughs> Try to blend in. So, I've been sitting over there wondering... What's Bruce Wayne doing in a place like this? I figured you went to fancier casinos. Some place where only high rollers go. I'm looking for something different. New thrills. Well, it's a good thing you're here. And it's a good thing I'm here. You? What in the hell are you doing here? Stop me if you've heard this one before. I begin and have no end. And I end all that begins. Who am I? I don't give a damn. I told you ten times. Our arrangement is over. Death, Maury. I am death. Something's happening, and it doesn't look like a deal. The man in the hood. I remember him from your father's time. I think that's Riddler. Is something wrong? You seem distracted. Bruce. You think your gibberish intimidates me? Hello? That's him. You'd better gear up. You can't just blow me off. Stay close and keep your head down. Excuse me? Bullets are about to fly. Okay. No one threatens me in my own casino. Security! Sir, it's time to leave. For you? An easy one. What question can you never answer yes to? I don't give a crap, let's go. <sighs> Wrong. 
The correct answer is, are you dead? Now, let's get started. Get out of there. Get your suit. Let Gordon know what's happening. Right away. Hey! No one leaves! Hmm. You okay? Yeah. I'm okay. you did to that man knocking him out like that how did you do that i had a different impression of you from tv you never seemed that capable i said run if you stay you'll die thank you commissioner gordon on the line scrambling audio now gordon batman what's the status Multiple gunmen, hostages at the casino. A madman in a mask. Riddler's back in Gotham. Riddler? He hasn't been seen in years. Well, he's putting on quite a show. There's a squad on the way. They'll be there shortly. Be ready for a fight. Please, please, we can make the deal. Anything you want. Our issues can't be solved with handshakes, Maury. This is what happens when you back out of a deal with me. There's only one way you're getting out of this alive. You have to solve a riddle. And I'd choose my words carefully if I were you. Listen closely. No, please, don't do this! Without fingers, I point. Without arms, I strike. Without feet, I run. Who am I? I've got visual. That drone fully functional. I'll need a place to drop in without being noticed. Time for some recon. It's a tricky one, isn't it? A mind bender that scratches at the very nature of our existence. Riddler. A terror from the past. I never thought I'd see him on our streets again. He's not to be taken lightly. You to distraction, rattling around like a rat in your skull. Some kind of torture device. Doesn't seem like he's getting out until he guesses the riddle. This Riddler certainly has an imagination. Remember, choose your words carefully, Mori. You only have so many fingers. Riddler's taken hostages, casino patrons, innocent bystanders. Uh, they're clearly not his main target. Must be an insurance policy. You won't like that. Cashier's booth. That'll do. Just need to take out the guard first.
audio playback fully functional. Time for a distraction. What the? I'm losing patience, Maury. Are you expecting a hint? Give me an answer! Batman, we can't get in. The front's covered by gunmen, and they've got the back barricaded with blackjack tables. How should I deploy when we're inside? I'm relying on your eyes and ears. What's the best course of action? We need a distraction. Find a way to limit their line of sight. Sounds like a plan. You're completely insane! No? I don't believe that's it. I'll clear a path. Wait for my signal. Give him hell. We're counting on you. You're ahead of schedule. I'm a little busy right now, but I'll see if I can fit you in. Not him, the hostage! Shoot the hostage! his head. Break it open. With pleasure. I've heard stories in the streets about you, Batman. You're the biggest name in Gotham since... well... since I left town. Everyone's very impressed with you. <laughs> I'm not impressed. Gotham's criminals have become zealots and thugs in cheap suits. And you... I've come home to find a wannabe in my chair. Eating my goddamn porridge! This is my city! Now I'm back, and I'm taking what's mine. You don't know me, Riddler. You have no idea what you're up against. You must think you're so special. You're not the first hero I've put down. You're supposedly the world's greatest detective. Gordon, and here no. you are. to be kidding. Clever, but not smart enough. Let me show you how it was done back in the day. doesn't do it for me! Follow the power lines. There must be a weak point.
That's cheating! Think I care about your rules? I'd heard you're a man who followed a code. Why would you save that dirtbag's life? Mori made his money running guns, trading off the suffering of war. Why wouldn't you just let him die? I save people. It's what I do. <laughs> your naivete is just embarrassing. I save people. <laughs> you should concentrate on saving yourself. You know how to scrap. I'll give you that. But it's not enough. Let's see how you do with something a little more cerebral. Better hurry, detective. Solve my puzzle soon. Or people are gonna get hurt. And we know you can't let that happen. You should have called us before going in, Gordon. Waller? After all, we're here to help. Circuitry inside, but nothing obviously dangerous. The back computer will be able to analyze further. Your days are numbered, Bat Freak. We'll see each other again. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Keep one eye on the sky, jerk offs. Heavens are gonna fall on your goddamn heads! Tell me all about it, down at the precinct. The Riddler's right hand in custody? Not a bad result, all told. Riddler used to leave clues at all his crime scenes. Always thought he was smarter than the people trying to catch him. Thought we could use help dragging him down. He got a sick pleasure out of taunting us. He was smart enough to slip through our fingers. Yeah, and leave a bloody mess in his wake. Riddler's heyday was a dark time in Gotham. And what we just saw, he hasn't mellowed with age. Uh-huh. Get Fernandez on it right away. Commissioner Gordon! Brace yourself. Just so you know, this woman has a lot of juice with the governor. Rub her the wrong way, I could end up on foot patrol till I retire. My people are trained for situations like this, Gordon. We'd have Riddler in custody if you'd only picked up the phone. So, you're the legendary Batman. 
I've heard a great deal about you. So much so, I don't know if I should believe the hype. I don't know who you think you are, but I don't like your attitude. Who I think I am? <laughs> oh, I know I'm your new best friend. This is Amanda Waller, director of the agency. What are the feds doing here? Riddler's their case. The GCPD has been asked to open our doors to them. Give them whatever they need. We've been tracking that maniac for some time. No one knows more about him than we do. World-class criminals like Riddler, they're kind of our specialty. If you were tracking him, why didn't you tell us he was coming? We get a lot of unverified reports. I wanted to be sure. Now we know. Riddler used to be a player in Gotham back when Thomas Wayne and Falcone ran the city. He disappeared so suddenly, and for so long, everyone thought he was dead. <laughs> everyone was wrong. Riddler's back, and if these theatrics are anything to go by, he wants the whole city to know. My people tell me you did some good work handling him, Batman. You and me? I bet we'd make a damn fine team. I heard how you dealt with Lady Arkham. Not to mention that filth, Oswald Cobblepot. We could do great things together if we joined forces. I work with Gordon, no one else. I appreciate loyalty, but that there... That's the issue. The only real problem with your setup is who you're working with. Local law enforcement clearly can't cut I got a local crime rate says otherwise. <laughs> Ms. Waller... Please, Commissioner. Tear gas. In a hostage situation, we got an ambulance full of civilians with their eyes swollen shut. Not to mention you let Riddler slip through your fingers. You GCPD cowboys clearly don't know what you're doing. You're putting all this on me? You're the commanding officer, aren't you? Or are those stars purely for show? Back off, Waller. Don't blame the police, blame Riddler. Or hadn't you noticed he was the one cutting off fingers? Oh, I noticed, all right. Just like I noticed you let him get away. I'm here to prevent this incompetence in the future. I gotta get a security detail on Mori while he's in the hospital. Agent Avesta will fill you in on what we know so far. As a token of interdepartmental cooperation. The nerve on her. Don't tell these people a thing, especially about that puzzle. This is our town. We're the ones that'll catch Riddler. Ooh, I thought she was gonna bite your head off for a second. Uh, I'd like to see her try. Special Agent Imana Vesta, Field Intelligence Specialist on the Riddler case. And my partner, Agent Blake. How do you do? I put together this psychological profile of Riddler. You'll see when you read it. He's... changed. For your eyes only, <laughs> if you catch my drift. The target of the casino attack, Rumi Mori. Any idea what Riddler wanted with him? We figure it has something to do with why he's back in Gotham. He was asking about a riddle. What kind of riddle? Something about a mind bender that drove men to madness. Hmm, interesting. I've heard that before. Thanks. That's a help. <clears throat> I'm Gotham born and raised, you know. My dad ran a store in the shadow of City Stadium. I just wanted to say it's a real honor to meet you. I do have something I want to ask, though. The criminally insane. You're drawn to them, aren't you? There's something in you that pulls you towards the danger. The chaos, the energy. You can't keep away, can you? I don't like what you're insinuating. Uh, of course, I... Keep your pop's psych evaluations to Riddler and stay out of my head. I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to pry. I think I know you a little better now. I'll be in touch. Agent. Batman, before you go, Gotham's your city. I respect that. But you should know I don't have to play nice. 
I'm letting you hunt the Riddler for now. You better share everything you find. Or this courtesy call is gonna become something you really won't like. You get me? There's a lot of ways this could go. Full disclosure, Riddler left me this puzzle. What is it? I don't know yet. He said I had to solve it or people would get hurt. Then you best get on it. Let's keep being honest with each other. Full evening. I've taken the liberty of preparing some refreshments. Uh, thanks, Al. I need to focus. Maybe music will help. Can't go wrong with the classics. The computer is finished scanning the Riddler's puzzle box. It's ready when you are. Let's get to work. Ah, Selena. She'll turn up again. I'm looking forward to it. No explosives detected, no radioactivity. Nothing dangerous at all so far. Computer, run another scan. I want to be absolutely sure this thing is safe. Also, I took the liberty of digging up everything I could find on the agency. There's plenty here. Know your enemy and all that. It, it comes and goes. Ever since the kidnapping and, and all the other business with Lady Arkham. Alfred. 
<clears throat> no, no, don't you worry about me. No, I, I, I should be fine. It was worse after my first tour of duty. Your family, Alfred. We worry about family. Thank you, Bruce. It'll pass. Working always helps. The agency, the public face of a shadow committee of military leaders, intelligence experts, and government officials. Civil rights violations, domestic black sites, decentralized accountability. This information, it's all before Waller took over the director position. Perhaps she's given them a new direction. Maybe, but the agency's empowered to override local law enforcement with impunity. That man's got some competition in town. I wonder if we need be worried about losing our unpaid and thoroughly exhausting job, I mean. We have a common enemy in the Riddler. That puts us on the same side. You really are a different Batman these days, aren't you? Silver linings in all things. Well, you warned me about keeping my paranoia down to acceptable levels. Thought I'd give it a try. Riddler terrorized this city long before you were Batman. Gotham's original costumed criminal. Yes, to have him returned, it's unsettling. I remember when he was the scourge of the underworld. Even Carmine Falcone gave him a wide berth. He was presumed dead for so long. Why come back to Gotham? Well, he seemed to have a prior relationship with Mori. Some kind of axe to grind. Let me upload the rest of this to the Codex. The agency realized Riddler was still alive when you orchestrated a prison break at Peña Duro. My men here say you let yourself get caught, Mr. Riddler. Just Riddler. Why willingly turn yourself in? Oh, Mr. Warden. To get everyone else out, of course. That wasn't obvious. The man's deranged. If you ask me, he needs help. He's clearly sick. The man is in urgent need of a doctor. I know just the place for him. Plenty of room at Arkham Asylum. Next to him, most of the inmates seem like a picture of health. What was that? You should see your face. Its confusion is delightful. I think I'll take it with me. <laughs> I take everything back. Let's see what Riddler's little gift is all about. Solve my puzzle soon, or people will get hurt. Uh, Riddler's M.O. hasn't changed in all these years.
There's writing engraved along the rim. I have an eye yet cannot see. Who am I? That sounds familiar. I've heard it before. Don't happen to remember the answer, do you? Sadly, no. The eye of a needle. But how does that relate to the object in question? Maybe it's telling us how to use it. Uh, sounds very plausible. Look at these strange grooves. Forget. Uh, your guess is as good as mine. Luster. Lucius' latest model never ceases to impress. A record needle. Halfway there, Batman. 
means you've got half a chance of stopping a whole lot of pain. To be honest, you're already doing better than I thought. But don't sit around feeling pleased with yourself, unless you want to see me tear this city apart. I suppose you're going to look in there. An open invitation from the Riddler? Of course. Huh. Looks like I'm manipulating radio bands or waveforms. Something. I'm not sure what I'm looking at or how any of it is actually displaying. And that sound? What? Oh, uh... I'm not really sure about any of it. Get Lucius on the line, will you? Alfred. Good morning, Lucius. I hope we're not interrupting your breakfast. My youngest is probably stealing all the bacon, but duty calls. What's up? This is a puzzle from the Riddler. There's a strange waveform pattern I can manipulate inside that needs your expertise. I, uh, yeah, okay. Uh, I can meet you at Wayne Tower in a little bit. We'll, uh, fire up the R&D lab. I wouldn't ask if it wasn't important, Lucius. No, no, don't worry about it. It's actually gonna be a big day for me. Tiffany starts at Wayne Enterprises. Tiffany? Really? Your daughter, working alongside you. How wonderful. Uh, certainly is. Bruce, I'll see you soon. Bye, Lucius. Can't wait to see Tiffany. I'll be at Wayne Tower. hunting rules. I caught you. I have some good news to share. Good to hear it, Regina. It's what I've come to expect, with you as Wayne Enterprise's chairperson. I just talked to the board, and they couldn't be more pleased with how our partnership with GCPD is going. Seems like you made the right call when you decided to take that contract over the Arkham remodel. The Gazette's running a piece about it. Look, I would love to hear all the details, but I've got a meeting with Lucius I've got to run to. Well, I don't mean to pry, but what's in that case? Seems like an odd thing to be carrying around the office. Oh, this? Uh, this is just something for Lucius. I see. Well, I've got a meeting I've got to run to. We'll pick up this conversation this afternoon. Sounds great. You're in my chair. Just updating the encryption on your bat tech. But if you want me to stop? Oh, no, the seat is all yours. This is the thing you were talking about? One of Riddler's puzzles. Some kind of test. Show me. Huh. Any idea what he's planning? Not yet. That's why I need your help. If his history is anything to go by, he left us a clue. A psychological profile of Riddler. Uh, knowing how his mind works, this should come in handy. No sign of explosives or poison. Already scanned for that in the cave. Look at that. Micropulse waveform. Ah, and the sound it's giving off. A signal, maybe? <laughs> I couldn't decipher it. I was hoping you could help with that. I'll see what I can do. Shouldn't take long. What in the... It's not one of mine. Think fast. Tiffany? 
Hey, Bruce. T my God, Tiffany. It's been a while. Sneaking out of orientation your first day? I just wanted to say hi to my new boss. I got you a present. A micro drone prototype I developed in my spare time. High-end AV, stealth black shell, programmable for autonomous observation. Small, quiet, and super smart. Just like its designer. Not bad, huh? You always had a thing for toys. So hard to know what to get a man who has everything. So I made you some tech the government would be jealous of. I love it. Thanks, Tiffany. Well, I guess it's not bad. Not bad. See what I had to deal with growing up? Huh. There's something different about you. Uh, there is? And I don't just mean what happened to your ear. I can't quite put my finger on it. But you look... You look... You look... Like, uh, someone who needs another four hours of sleep? That's because you work too hard. Oh, that's rich. Coming from a man who pretty much lives in his lab. Interesting. Don't. Too late. Already touching. Just be careful. What a strange thing. The circuitry design. It's elaborate and unorthodox. Almost intentionally so. Like whoever put it together was kind of showing off. Huh. Micro pulse waves? It's just weird. Seriously, what is this thing? I've never seen anything like it. It's like whoever made it. Well, something your dad has been working on. Lucius, care to explain? Oh, it's nothing. Just an old piece of tech that found its way into my lab. But what does it do? That's what we're trying to work out. You guys are lucky I'm here to help. Uh, help with... Figure this freakish thing out. Uh, Tiffany did graduate first in her class at Cornell in molecular engineering. Let me take a crack at it. I can help you get to the bottom of this. Figure out what it does. Are you sure you don't have some place to be? Whatever. I've got to get back to orientation anyway. Have fun scratching your heads. All right then. Time to crack this puzzle. I never told her, you know. Told her what I really do at Wayne Enterprises. What uh, we do. I understand your hesitation about involving her in this Riddler business. But uh, you should consider bringing Tiffany into the fold. Into the mission. If not now, then in the future. We're going to need help. If we're going to be dealing with the likes of Riddler. And we can trust her. She's family after all. Well, do you know what she wants, Lucius? It's not for us to decide her future. That's fair. It's just that our work means a great deal to me. I'd like to share that with her. Let's put a pin in this for now. I think we've got enough on our plates. Well, shall we go down to the lab? Actually, the equipment we need is down in my office. We'll get this taken care of in no time. Mr. Wayne. Uh, yes? I'm Special Agent Avesta. This is my partner, Special Agent Blake. Uh, well, I guess I'll see you in a bit. I'll be down in my office. Whenever you, uh, get done here. See you later, Lucius. Good chat. Oh, yeah. One of the best. Sorry for the unannounced visit. We're with the agency's behavioral analysis unit. We just came by to ask a few questions. Please, come in. Make yourselves at home. Uh, can I get my assistant to get you anything? Uh, coffee, water, donuts? Don't worry. This won't take long.
This office, it really represents you. Well, I like to think so. Is this you? Yeah. How old? I don't know, seven, eight, maybe? <laughs> so happy. After everything you've been through, I don't know how you still do it. Do what, exactly? It wasn't long ago when you were the most hated man in Gotham, yet you still give so much back to the city. Why do you continue to help Gotham? Most people wouldn't be so charitable after that. What's that all about? My father did a lot of damage to a lot of people. I'm just trying to make things right. Thomas Wayne did cast a long, dark shadow. It must be difficult to get out from under it. What, uh, what is it you want? The agency recently brought me in to draft a psychological portrait of the Riddler. We've been tracking him for months, but haven't been able to find him. Anything I can help with? See, I told you he'd be cooperative. Agent Blake thought you'd be cagey, defensive, based on your history. Guess he was wrong. My, uh, my history? A lot of things happened to you last year, and not all of them were good. You put yourself at risk when you helped bring in your friend Harvey Dent. He was a violent psychotic at the time, almost destroyed the city. Come to think of it, You've been associated with quite a few psychopaths over the years. I wouldn't go that far. I would. The criminally insane, they seem drawn to you. Either that, or you're often in the wrong place at the wrong time. They're not attracted to me any more than the average citizen. We live in one of the most dangerous cities in the world, right? Stands to reason I'd run into a few psychos. Like this guy. I think you'd know him as John Doe. We understand that it was during your stay in Arkham where you and John met and became friends. From the sound of it, you two were close. John may very well say that, yes. But not you. A conversation in a mental hospital does not make us friends, much less close. I see. According to hospital records, you and John were involved in a riot. They captured the whole incident on video. John cut another inmate, a man named Victor Zaz. Then you jumped into the fray. Several people were hurt. I was... I was trying to break up a fight. I don't blame you. You must have been scared. John was discharged from Arkham months ago. No one has seen or heard from him since. I was thinking maybe you have. <laughs> Why would you think that? He listed you as his emergency contact. Uh, sounds like you two were pretty close to me. I did not agree to that. Why would he write down my name? It's obvious. You're important to him. Well, I haven't seen or heard from him, so... Did he do something wrong? He's a person of interest. You see, we've got a wall in the office with a bunch of photos pinned to it. Two-Face, Penguin, Lady Arkham, you know, Gotham's most notorious. They've got all these little strings connecting them to one another, like a web. And you, my friend, are at the center. You keep pretty strange company for someone who wants everyone to think they're such a stand-up guy. Every association you've made so far has been investigated by the authorities or covered by the press. I have nothing to hide. <laughs> All you do is hide. Hide behind the press, behind your money, your power. I think it's all an elaborate mask. You know more than you're letting on, Mr. Wayne. Maybe you're afraid. Maybe you don't trust us. Or maybe you're a criminal, like your father. Maybe you're not the hero people think you are. Get the hell out of my... That's an evacuation warning. It's time for you to leave. We'll pick this up another time.
Bruce, get my daughter out of the building. Get yourself out. What are you talking? What did you figure out? I've I've solved the Riddler's puzzle, Bruce. Uh, Riddler really pulled a good one over on us. I might still be able to disable it, but uh, it doesn't look good. You just hold tight, Lucius. I'm coming down to help. It's too late for that. Tell Tiffany that I love her. Then I'm sorry I wasn't around more. Lucius! We really made a difference, didn't we, Batman? Lucius! One killed and 14 injured after a tragic explosion The GCPD is opening an investigation into what they are calling an industrial accident. Wayne Enterprises Chief Technology Officer Lucius Fox died last Tuesday in the violent blast. A small service is being held for the tech giant and father of three at Divinity Church this Sunday. there for me, Lucius. From the very beginning. I'm gonna miss you. He was a good man. To lose him like this, it's, it's hard to bear. Lucius helped raise you, Bruce. He was family. Riddler's attack on the casino was one thing. But this... This is personal. We can't let him get away with it. Riddler struck at the heart of our operations and tore a family apart in the process. Riddler will pay for what he's done. I swear to you, I will make him suffer. Maybe it's what's called for given the circumstances. Of course, it won't bring poor Lucius back. I can't imagine how devastated she must be to lose her father in such a violent way. <laughs> I should go talk to her. Yes. She can use all the support she can get. Hey, <laughs> Tiffany. I still can't believe he's gone. None of this. None of this feels real. I know your dad's in a better place. Maybe. I wouldn't trade places with him. He loved working for you, you know? They hardly saw him at home because of it. Mom used to complain my little brother was growing up without a dad. Now I guess it's true. He was so busy. I can't remember the last time I got to hang out with him. Just father and daughter. I just thought there'd be more time. There were so many things I wanted to talk to him about. So much wisdom in that goofy head of his. I know it's no consolation, but the work your father was doing, it was important. More important than family. That's not what I meant. Well, what did you mean? <sighs> Tiffany. I'm sorry. I know I shouldn't blame you. Hey, it's okay. It's okay. Just let it out. I'm just... trying to wrap my head around it all. I saw his remains, Bruce. There... there was a 
hardly anything left. What were you guys working on that could have caused that? It, it doesn't quite add up. Please tell me. For my own sanity. Nothing out of the ordinary. Just normal corporate R&D stuff. An explosion that size? In my dad's lab, maybe, but not in his office. I know a cover story when I hear one. And I am not that same gullible little girl who believed your ghost stories when I was six. Fine. Just tell me one thing. That weird disc. You were trying to keep me away from it. Was that what killed him? Did you put my father's life at risk for that? I'm begging you. Just tell me that one thing. I need to know. I thought it was safe, Tiffany. I, I really did. I had no idea Lucius could get hurt. Please forgive me. Forgive you? I hope you can forgive yourself. Whatever you got my father into, I will find out and I will shout it to the world. <sighs> so sorry, really. It's such a shame. At least he went out with a bang, oh. right? <laughs> yeah, for that, we can all be grateful. You... You knew my father. Well, no, but judging by all the lovely people here, he must have been quite a man. Either that, or he left a lot of money. Excuse me? <laughs> <clears throat> Just saying. He seems popular. <laughs> Much beloved. Hey, hey, how about giving Tiffany some space? Huh? Bruce! <laughs> Buddy! It's good to see you. Come on, man. She's been through a lot. You're absolutely right. Enjoy the rest of your day. Look, I know it's a closed casket, but uh, I can see by the jeans. Uh, your friend was a looker, huh? Why are you here, John? I told you I'd see you again, didn't I? You and me, we're two threads in the same ditch. Look, I, I I got you a little something just, just to mark the occasion. I knew you'd be hurting, see? I thought it might make you feel better. Um, thank you. John, that's very considerate of you. Oh, good. I wasn't sure. First time at a funeral, you see. People get upset at the littlest things. It hasn't, um... It hasn't been easy for me out here, you know? I'm the new guy now. It's the freedom that gets to you. There's so damn much you hardly know what to do with it. <laughs> it's not like Arkham. Sometimes I miss those padded walls. You knew where the lines were drawn. Which ones not to cross. How did you get out? Oh my god, did you escape? <laughs> Didn't have to. Dr. Leland signed the papers herself. She always had a soft spot for me. If everyone could please take their seats, uh, we will begin. Would you just sit down? Today we gather to honor the memory of Lucius Fox. He was a friend, a father, a husband. 
a leader. You are crashing my friend's funeral, John. You better have a good reason. Oh, I do. I need that, uh, favor you owe me. For settling the score with Zaz and, you know, getting you out of Arkham. You're gonna do right by me, aren't you? I know you're a man of your word. Many things to many different people. One thing remains consistent throughout these stories. You're crazy if you think any of that matters now. Crazy's not a very nice word, Bruce. It's it's derogatory, and Dr. Leland says that people use it as a weapon. For they will be comforted. You may be asking yourself. You see, I met some inspiring people out here, made some new friends, made a kind of pact. They're amazing, Bruce. That special breed who live by their own rules. They remind me of you, of your father. So who are they? You'll find out when you meet them. They're looking to bring someone like you into the fold. I, you, you will meet them for me, won't you? Please, I've, I've got a lot riding on this. I already told them you would. Please don't let me down. Not a chance, John. I don't know what you're mixed up in, but I am not getting involved. <sighs> Disappointing. <laughs> You know, I spoke so highly of you. I told them you'd fit right in. She just makes me want, uh, I don't know, lash out. Shh. 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 We're here to mourn. Please, you us me again. You'll be mourning the loss of your teeth. How dare you? Just tell him you're sorry and let it go. He's very sorry. We both are. I am. I'm, I'm sorry. You should be allowed to enjoy the funeral in peace. Hmm. Sorry, Bruce, that outburst, it, it's antisocial, I know. Dr. Leland says I have a hard time handling rejection. I think it's the stress. You see, I've got this enemy, real piece of work, calls himself the Riddler. How do you know the Riddler? Know him? I want to rip his eyeballs out. He's a thief and a killer, and worst of all, he's, he's rude. I tried to let the authorities know the kind of lowlife they're dealing with, but... Wait a minute, you know him too. Of course, a man of Bruce Wayne's caliber knows everyone. Though I shouldn't be surprised. Not your usual crowd, though. Or so I thought. If I were you, I'd stay away from Riddler, John. He's dangerous. <laughs> well, you don't have to tell me twice, buddy boy. If I had my way, that smarmy know-it-all would never leave his hole. You mean his hole? You know where he is. No, not, not exactly, no. Maybe I said too much. I'm your friend, John. You can trust me. Uh, trust is the mainstay of any healthy relationship. I want that for us, Bruce. I really do. Yeah, I, I really don't know much. I heard the egomaniac always made people go to him for meetings. Somewhere in the East End. Where in the East End? Honestly, that's all I know. And even that might be out of date. If you're so eager to find him, why don't you let me help you? I'll find out where he is and get back to you. See if I can't find out where that jerk puts his head down. It'd be just like the old days. Listen to me carefully, John. 
Make sure this happens, or you'll be sorry. No need for a tantrum, Bruce. I'm on your side. Just remember, when the time comes, I want you to meet my friends. Look, I think I outstayed my welcome here. I'm, I'm just gonna slip away. Excuse me. I'm sorry. It's, uh... It's been so nice catching up, Bruce. I miss this. This trust between us. I know we'll see each other again soon. Be in touch. Goodbye, Bruce. Until next time. Intriguing fellow. Certainly not one for decorum. I don't think that outburst went unnoticed. Well, whatever you say about John, he gave me a lead on Riddler's location. Inform Gordon. Tell him to drag up GCPD records on Gotham's East End. And tell him we're on Riddler's trail. Enjoying the view? Yeah, hard to do these days. It's one thing for the bad parts of town to get uglier, but when places like Wayne Tower start falling apart, it makes you wonder what's next. Yeah, I bet Bruce Wayne is wondering the same thing. Seems like the world's got it out for that guy. Spends some time in Arkham, gets drugged through the dirt by the media for something he didn't do. Finally picks himself up, and what happens? Someone bombs his company. Bruce Wayne picked himself up once. He could do it again. Yeah, he certainly showed us that much, didn't he? You said you had a lead on Riddler. Hiding somewhere in the East End. Why am I not surprised? East End's been a no man's land since Harvey Dent blew it up. I've tried to get more patrols out there, but City Hall's not given up the funds. The area between 42nd and 48th, more or less lawless. That narrows down the surge at least. Looks like gang activities heating up along 43rd. Yeah, well, I'll see what I can do. Hey, I get it, but we're stretched thin, I told you. Yeah, Riddler's a loner. I bet he's avoiding that area. The land at the inn of 44th was recently purchased anonymously. The only thing there is an old water tower. Hmm. Something feels fishy about that. My gut tells me that's the place. Agreed. Uh, nice work, Batman. If this lead pans out, Waller will have to eat her words. <laughs> Whatever you said to her at the casino really got up her nose. I have to tell you, I got a bad feeling about her. How so? The way she goes after criminals, she's ruthless. Puts her people at risk, and believe me, she doesn't let due process get in her way. So stop at nothing, and I mean nothing, to get her man. It doesn't sit right with me, and I don't think she's good for Gotham. As far as law enforcement goes, Jim, you are the best of it. I don't know many cops with as much heart as you. Uh, I appreciate your saying that. Waller, she doesn't see that as a strength. I was ordered to give her updates on breaks in the Riddler case. Uh, if there's a chance he's there, we should probably let her know. Don't want to give her ammunition with the governor. She's already got him breathing down my neck about what went down at the casino. I don't want Waller involved. You and I can handle Riddler, just like it's always been. Glad to see we're on the same page. We gotta watch out for her. She moved her people into my downtown precinct without so much as a please or thank you. <laughs> I tell you, Batman, she keeps on chipping away at my authority. I'm gonna crack. Then let's find Riddler before it comes to that.
I'll grab a car and meet you at Riddler's hideout. Riddler won't feel so clever after we come knocking. kept Waller and her agency people out of the loop on this. It's just the two of us. We can handle this without her. Not exactly cozy, is it? Let's see what we can learn. Get out. We go in. After you. house any day. Special Agent Mario Fernandez. Holy crap. He's one of Waller's. One of his pupils is fully dilated. The other's contracted. A clear sign of brain trauma. Huh. There's no sign of a blow to the head. The man bit his tongue clean through. He must have suffered a shock, or a sudden jolt. There's some hemorrhaging from the ears. His eardrums must have burst. He's missing parts of his fingers on the right hand. We saw this before. The victim in the casino. He was trying to call for help. The phone isn't getting a signal. Damn it. Me either. She was missing. The soul of the other one's almost completely melted through. That's a hell of an invitation. Riddler's playing games. Bet he tried to play along. We can learn from his mistakes. Let's find out what he did wrong. Metal mesh lining the walls. Riddler has converted this entire place into a giant Faraday cage. Faraday what? An enclosure designed to block electromagnetic fields. No signals in or out. Guess it explains why our phones aren't getting signals. Clever son of a bitch. Prototype of the trap he used on Mori. The armor, extremely sturdy, ensuring there's no possible way to open them other than solving his riddles. This is an insane way to commit crimes, even for this city. Oh. 
Another one of Riddler's sick contraptions. Some kind of murder box, I guess. Well, he was always a wacko, but this takes it to a new level. One punch. It must be locked in place. Turn me round, but not the right way, and you might live to see another day. What does it mean? The glass. It's polarized. So it is. It's still warm. There must be some kind of heating element underneath. This thing is built like an oven. You could be cooked alive in there. The fingers were severed after he caught fire. Masks. Each one missing a different facial feature. There are blades inside. And a lot of blood. Huh. We know Riddler likes penalizing his victims for wrong answers. Safes with electronic locks. Shut tight. These must be the goal of whatever game we're playing. The agent must have been looking for the answer in one of these safes. He chose the wrong one. Ghost him his fingers. Shoe melted. Must belong to poor Cinderella over there. Scratches on the monitor. The polarizing filter has been tampered with. Like in sunglasses. Monitors typically have a polarizing filter to reduce reflection. I don't see anything. Impossible to see with the naked eye. We're going to have to look at it through a polarized lens. a bit of a stretch. The floor of the box heated up while the agent was inside. He tried standing on one foot to save the other, causing that shoe to catch on fire. When he exited the box, he tried to put the fire out, but couldn't. So he threw off his shoe. Hey, I got a hunch. Come here. No matter how careful Riddler is, chances are good he hasn't scrubbed his own computer. Good call. It's worth checking out. I recognize some of the names on this list. They're all Waller's people. Names, addresses, phone numbers? We have to warn her. First, we have to get out of here. Mori, 
he sold technology to Riddler. I talk about strange bedfellows. You know, Waller's been keeping pretty tight tabs on Mari for a while now. She must have known. What does it say? Riddler's not working alone. Just wonderful. More psychos to worry about. He and his colleagues. They don't see eye to eye. Apparently they don't like his beef with me. Hey, maybe we'll get lucky they'll kill each other. Since the monitors have been tampered with, it's likely there's a message on it. One that can only be seen with a polarized lens. You won't know until you're inside the box, though. It's an agency issue pistol. Packs a hell of a jolt. I saw it take down Riddler's goons at the casino. It was impressive. Gotta give it to Waller. Her people have great tech. See no evil. Hear no evil. Speak no evil. Hold up, Batman. The senses. They're missing their senses. Like the monkey statues. You're right. There must be a connection. That's the same kind of body cam the GCPD issues its officers. Maybe there's a clue on the recording. Can't hurt to look. Because you've been so candid with me, I'm giving you a chance your other comrades won't get. A chance at getting out of this alive. We'll catch you. The agency, they'll find- I shouldn't have to remind you that you've been chasing me for years. And I've always been two steps ahead. If you win the game, I'll let you go free. And you'll get a consolation prize. An exclusive sneak peek into how I'm going to kill all of your colleagues. <laughs> now how is that for motivation? 
Screw you! He had the agent bound while he beat him. You got a VR in that cowl or something? Something like that. I've got all the pieces of Riddler's puzzle. Now I need to know what order they happened in. here. No. Something else happened here. The agent woke up here where his body cam fell off. Once he found he couldn't call for help, he saw the message on the monitors and willingly put himself inside the murder box. The agent's shoe caught fire inside the murder box, so he opened it in a panic. As soon as he was out of the box, he ripped off the burning shoe and threw it. Somewhere in the confusion, he must have missed something crucial. From where he lost his shoe, the agent beelined for the wall of safes. He opened one, but chose poorly. The blade sliced off his fingers, and there he met his end. Though it's still unclear how and when his eardrums could have burst. The agent made a number of mistakes, mistakes we can avoid. The heat inside the box forced him to run out before he could... Before he could get Riddler's next clue. Poor bastard couldn't withstand the heat. The bat suit's armor is heat resistant. It'll buy me more time to find Riddler's next clue. Getting inside the box and starting the game is the only way we're getting out of here. This is insane. You know that, right? The last man who went in there is dead. There's a good chance it'll kill you too. Don't worry, Jim. I'm not going to lose this game. I'm not so sure. But if you say a thing, you usually do it. See no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil. But which one is he referring to? Whichever one it is, the correct safe will have a face with those senses removed. Yeah, I'll check. Ah, damn it. They're still locked shut. They should unlock when I open this door. What the hell? Congratulations! You're almost done. That is, if you can withstand my short-range ultrasonic device. Let's test it out, shall we? <laughs> the riddle! Use it to open the safe! I'll put a stop to this damn choice! <laughs>
just in case. Damn. Now, oh, for the love of God, whatever's in that safe better be worth all this pain. It's a homing missile. What is it home in on? Looking at its schematics now. A signal. A radio signal. A signal. That's... That's how he died. How who died? That's how they'll all die. Riddler. Maury sold me missiles for all of my enemies. Everyone on my list gets one. Most won't even know what's coming. For a brief second, their dull existences will light up before going dark forever. I'm closing in on you, Riddler. We escaped your twisted puzzle. It's only a matter of time before I find you. Time is one thing you don't have. I'm trying to get a handle on you, Batman. Partnering with Gordon is one thing. From what I remember of the old days, he's harmless enough. Yeah, we'll see about that when you're in cuffs. But the Agency, they're a natural enemy to people like you and me. You must be desperate if you're making friends with them. You must be really up against the ropes to want that government scum in your corner. Whatever the Agency is, you are worse. You're the one torturing and killing innocents. You think any of these agents are innocent? The Agency uses people, Batman. Corrupts them, breaks their minds. I wasn't always like this. The Agency made me. Oh, this is garbage. Yeah, Waller's a hard ass, sure, but she had nothing to do with why he's so messed up. I didn't say Waller, did I? This goes way before her time. But I don't forget. That's the thing about having a mind like mine. You remember everything. Even the things you'd rather not. Save your sob story for jail. I'm not interested. You think I want sympathy? This is my city. I was running things in Gotham before you could walk. I just wanted to see if the man who saves everyone is really as good as he believes. But then, you already answered that for me, didn't you? When you offloaded my puzzle on your friend. Why don't you tell Gordon here what happened to Lucius Fox? Watch out, Commissioner. For all his preaching, Batman knows when to sacrifice a pawn to win the game. It was a smart move. Getting out of the way of the blast. Something only a pragmatist would do. Nothing to say. Silence speaks volumes, doesn't it, Commissioner? Come on now. Don't get your tights in a twist. I knew you weren't sharp enough to do it on purpose. There's no room at the top for schoolboys who are too squeamish to fight in the gutter. You don't have what it takes to be a player in this town. Not without giving up those values you hold so dear. Game on! I'll wait for Waller and pass on what we found. She won't be happy when she finds out Riddler knows about every agency operative in Gotham. I don't blame her. If they were my cops, no one would be sleeping till we found this Riddler guy. Just keep your eyes open, Jim. In the meantime, I'll stay on Riddler's tail. Hey, hey, hold up a sec. What Riddler said in there about the agency, smoke and mirrors, you ask me. But the thing about Lucius Fox... And the blast at Wayne Tower? You got a level with me. You got some connection with that Wayne Tech guy you didn't tell me about? Riddler loves playing mind games, Jim. This was one of them. Don't fall for it. You expect me to buy that? You've never lied to me before. I don't like it. I gotta say, the fact I had to learn about it from Riddler instead of you, 
It doesn't sit right with me at all. I thought we had some trust, you and I. What do you expect me to do with this? Am I just supposed to sit on my hands? Pretend I never heard any of it? I already told you. It's a mind game to drive a wedge between us. Believe it or don't, Jim. I just got this funny feeling. <sighs> well, I guess if it's your word against Riddler, there's only one option. I mean, I wasn't born yesterday. I know you probably have a network of civilians working for you. You can't do the kinds of things you do without a gigantic support system. I'm uh, sorry. I guess Riddler's getting in my head after all. Batman. Uh, I'll be waiting to hear from you. your discussion with Commissioner Gordon. It sounded like he believed you, that Lucius Fox's death has nothing to do with the Batman. Still, Gordon's dangerously close to figuring out who you are. If he does find out, I have no idea how he'll react. It's not a chance you can afford to take. Worrying about it won't help anything. Neither will being Cavalier. You were radio silent for so long. Tell me, did you find out how Lucius died? This is a missile I found in Riddler's workshop. The explosion at Wayne Tower. We were thinking about it all wrong. The puzzle wasn't an explosive. It was an emitter. When it was solved, it emitted a signal. You heard it earlier. If allowed to play too long, it becomes a launch signal. Dear God, you did solve the box. We just didn't know it. The Batcave Scrambler blocked the signal. Poor Lucius. Wayne Tower offered no such protections. Our tight little family has gotten smaller because of it. It was the three of us looking out for each other. Now it's two. With Lucius gone, we need to find someone to take over his role. No one could ever fill his shoes. But, but you're right. Between the Lady Arkham affair and losing Lucius in this gruesome fashion, it's clear we're up against a new class of criminal. This war of ours, it may be too much for us on our own. The list of agency operatives from Riddler's workshop he plans to do the same thing to them. It's a hit list. It's only useful if he has a way to target the agents, though. And I doubt he's sending them all puzzle boxes. Hold on, let's just walk through it. their cell phones. He could pinpoint the location of any one of these operatives. And he can broadcast his signal through their phone to make them a target of a missile strike. Can you block it? If I can get a clean copy of the signal, yes. It's 
the only way I can get a clean version of the signal. It's pretty grim, Alfred. You don't have to watch. I can handle it. I've never been one to shy away from duty, however unpleasant it may be. Of course you can. Let's get this over with. Bruce, get my daughter out of the building. Get yourself out. What are you talking about? What did you figure out? I've, I've solved the Riddler's puzzle, Bruce. He knew he was going to die. Oh. Can you switch to audio only, please? Tell Tiffany that I love her. That I'm sorry I wasn't around more. Lucius? We really made a difference, didn't we? Batman? Uh... I, uh, I, I, I shouldn't have watched this. I'll, uh, I'll go get that tea, Master Bruce. All right. Now I just need to create a filter to get a clean version of the signal, and then match up the points found in both sound files. Dwayne. That's not it. The two sounds have to be the same. Dwayne? Riddler? No. No, the sounds have to match for this to work. Dwayne? The disabled? Nope. I have to highlight the same sound in both files. the same. The two sounds have to be the same. Dwayne? Batman? No. Now the sounds have to match for this to work. Dwayne? Dwayne? Tiffany. Batman? Gotta keep trying. I have to highlight the same sound in both files. Tiffany. Tiffany. That's a match. Dwayne. Batman? No, that's not it. The two sounds have to be the same. Bruce? The disabling. No, no connection there. Now the sounds have to match for this to work. Bruce? Riddler? I need to keep looking. I have to highlight the same sound in both files. Bruce? Bruce! The waveforms match. There. I've piggybacked on a Riddler's cell phone hack. They'll recognize any incoming signal match and shut down, negating a launch. Makes sense for me to have the signal on me as well. What for? Riddler still has functioning missiles. Once he finds out I've blocked his targets, he may decide to launch indiscriminately. But with the signal, I might be able to divert them. Tiffany gave me this the day Lucius died. Let's put it to good work. It's 
Not a theory I really want to test. So we had better find Riddler first. There is always Riddler's second in command. Eli Nabel, arrested after his attack on the casino. None of the authorities have gotten anything out of him yet. Unknown contact. What is it? That John guy from the funeral from Arkham. Who actually sounds like he's keeping his word. Mori, huh? John thinks that Mori can get us Riddler's location. You believe him? Maybe we should go back to the beginning. Bring Rumi Mori up on the back computer. Either of them could potentially lead me to him. The question is, which is more likely to help you? Riddler's lieutenant. Eli Nabel. Took a go at me in the casino. Put up quite a fight. Cracking him will be tougher, more physical. Certainly a job for Batman. He's currently in Waller's custody in a GCPD holding cell. Interrogating Nabel there would be a visible endorsement of Waller's authority. Gordon won't like it. On the other hand, Maury's a businessman. Given the right incentive, he could be persuaded to talk. He sure can't have any love for Riddler after his attempted murder at the casino. I'd say he'd respond better to a more genteel approach. Peer-to-peer -peer as Bruce Wayne. However, the agency is watching him. If Waller finds out that Bruce Wayne sought a parley with Maury, she'll not be best pleased. Talk to Eli. It'll be nice to catch up. Tell Waller I'm on my way. Gordon's in briefing the deputy ops. I'm sure I'd want to know you were here. Waller's agency people commandeered the whole precinct. Pretty much moved in. They give you any trouble, I'll straighten them out. Running around like they own the place. They got no respect for the way we do things. You have Eli Nabel in custody. Take me to him. Nabel's my prisoner, not hers. Says who? Four of my agents went missing, including Agent Avesta. I don't have time for a pissing contest. Your agents are missing? We believe Riddler took them. If the body you found in his workshop is anything to go by, I... We don't have much time. Riddler warned us the last time we nearly caught him in Sudan. Said he'd hit back if we got too close. You seem rattled, Waller. Surprised to see you lose your cool. Not much use for sentimentality in our business, Batman. But you'd be wrong to assume I don't care about my people. Riddler's lieutenant hasn't given us a damn thing. I'm hoping you'll have better luck making him talk. That's why I'm here. Come on, then. 
But just remember, the Commissioner likes things by the book. Gordon told me you talked to Riddler in the workshop. You say anything I should know? Nothing worth mentioning. Don't hold out on me, Batman. Anything that helps us get this guy, I gotta know. You already know all there is. Guess I'm gonna have to have a longer conversation with Gordon. After we put the screws on Nabel. You know, I saw what you did to Carmine Falcone last year. Dangling a 60-year-old man off a high-rise was certainly effective. You ask me, you could have gone further. What's your point? Use any means necessary. As long as you get Nabel to tell us where Riddler is. My agent's lives are at risk. The gloves have to come off. I'll get him to talk. My way, not yours. I don't care how you do it. As long as it gets done. Meet your new interrogator, Eli. I believe you two have met before. Get up and get in that goddamn chair. Probably best to keep this off the record. Unless you prefer me to leave it on. If you're worried what Gordon might think. Keep it off. Need anything else? You might hear some screaming in a minute. Pretend you can't. Work with me, Eli. Maybe I can help you in return. I'm so, so glad you're here. These people, they ain't cops. They ran the cops off. But I heard about you. You'll, you'll keep them, they keep her from killing me. Riddler said you had rules against that, against killing. He's right about that, Eli. I don't deserve this. What do you deserve? I don't know. A, a lawyer? A, a trial? Basic human rights? Then tell me where he is. I... I can't. We don't have time for carrots, Batman. Only thing moving this mule is a big old stick. You get me? Just working up to it. Good. Then I'll let you do your job. Where is he, Eli? I already said I can't tell you. And I said it a million times to the guys before. The only thing I'm more scared of than dying is pissing him off. You've seen his machines. He can hurt you in ways they don't got names for. I can make sure Riddler never gets to you, Eli. I can protect you. Just help me find him. You still don't get it. Riddler has a plan that no one can stop. You can't beat him. He studied you too well. And the agency? <laughs> they don't have a chance. He can destroy them anytime he wants with a phone call. He's talking about the signal, Bruce. He has no idea you protected the agent's phones. There's no one that could save me if I cross him. I blocked the agency cells, Eli. They won't work as targets. 
How do you know about that? I'm smarter than Riddler. It makes no difference. There's no getting away from him. He could be anywhere with his signal. Bruce, his fear of Riddler is too great. You have to get in his head somehow. There's nothing you can do, Batman. No, Eli. You are wasting my time. And I'm out of patience. Where's he hiding? He's on a ship. In Gotham Bay. What ship? The Lady of Dublin. He's launching the missiles there too. Hell, Batman, what have you done? The Lady of Dublin. What you did to him. How... How could you? How could you hurt him like that? Honestly, I can't see him recovering from head trauma like that. I was in a hurry. He was slowing me down. But we're... We're supposed to be the good guys. Sometimes good is just another word for ineffective, detective. It's all about a means to an end. You... You're a monster. Yeah. But he's my monster. need of some schooling. My friends will be here soon. I'd keep your mouths shut until then. Hostages first. When they're safe, I can find the missiles. Targeting online. Ready, Bruce. You can't possibly think clunking a few heads is enough to make me roll over. Oversized vermin! Batman! Batman! Agent Avesta. The floor 
It's heating up! Thanks, Batman. Hi. Are you all right? the shock device. I've memorized your playbook, Batman. I know all your shallow tricks. Poor Eli held out longer than I expected, but I knew he'd give me up eventually. All part of the plan. The missiles. Bait. Just like the hostages were bait. I knew you couldn't bear to let these agents die. <laughs> you care too much about the little people. That makes you weak. I saw how you saved Maury. I saw how angry you got about what happened to Fox. Don't think my compassion means I won't hurt you. Don't think I won't beat you within an inch of your life. Hard to do that when you're in a cage. Even harder when you're dead. My partners were supposed to be here to see this. I guess I can just show them the bodies. I'm going to ask you three questions. Get them wrong, one of these agents gets torn apart. You won't get away with this. You get them right? This happens! I designed this for you, Batman. The hero who saves people will die knowing he couldn't save everyone. Let's get started. We have a lot to get through. I'm curious to see how you'll handle it all! Ask your questions, Riddler. Let's get this over with. Oh, good. I was hoping you'd cooperate. But I don't think the agent next to you shares your enthusiasm. You can handle the sonic blasts. But her... I estimate three blasts at most before her insides rupture. This one should be easy, Batman. Close to the heart. I solved a puzzle box for the Bat. Now I'm dead. And I mean dismembered. Closed casket for sure, kind of dead. Who am I? If you know the answer, please say it. My colleagues will die otherwise. Speak up, Batman. Which one of your dead friends am I? Need a hint? Starts with the letters L and F. Well, who am I? Lucius. What was that? I couldn't hear you. Lucius Fox. Very good, Batman. You saved a life. But... <sighs> Thank you. Batman, don't answer any more of his questions. No, Blake. I won't let you die. Number two. Also completely self-evident. I am black and blue and bleeding from the ears. Who am I? I think... I think he means me. Say it. Don't you dare answer that! Please, don't let him die. Say it! I need an answer. Or... Click, click, click! Avesta. The answer is Agent Avesta. You got it, Batman! Ha. Here's your prize! Oh my god! Iman! What have you done?! Enough, Riddler. You made your point. 
Perfect. Just one more, Batman. And then it'll all be over. I'll distract him. Just get us out of here. I'm the sharpest mind you'll ever meet. The original genius with Gotham at my feet. Who am I? You're Riddler. Riddler's the genius. Well done, Agent. You answered so quickly, you almost deserve not to get the blast. You're much too slow, Batman. I think we're through. Use the bat cam to make it hard to the cage. And use Riddler's trap to protect Iman and myself from the explosion. I like what you're saying, Agent Avesta, but you're not the one I need to hear it from. Missile armed, ready to fire. Who's the genius, Batman? Who's on top of Gotham now? I want to hear it from you. Definitely not you. What are you doing? Don't you? You could... You... Who's the man? Who's got no time left? The Riddler. Thought you'd get such an easy one right. Those missiles are aimed right at the city. The answer is Batman. be happening! God. I, 
I didn't think I didn't think we were going to make it. I I thought You're reckless, Iman. You're lucky you're alive. Agent, are you okay? My ears! I can't hear! It's over, Riddler. Look forward to a padded cell. Well, congratulations, Batman. You managed even in my twisted game to keep everyone alive. But at what cost? Agent Investus suffered, so no one had to die. That can't sit well with you. Can it? Must be an uncomfortable feeling. This entire twisted situation is your doing, Riddler. All blame is on you. And so are the consequences. You came after me, you know. Not the other way around. I made you hurt an innocent woman to get to me. <laughs> oh, my comrades would have been impressed. Set this all up to show them. I thought they'd back me up, even if they didn't agree. They, they left me here to deal with you alone. They, they betrayed me. They didn't come. Your comrades thought you went too far. I saw their messages. They were afraid your stunts would get my attention. They were right. They'll regret this. All of them. Unless... Unless that white-faced prick set me up. Never told them to meet me here. Lock the ship down, and radio for more medics. But... Riddler, is he... Oh, God damn it. I hope it was worth it, Batman. Worth it? Riddler's a damn corpse. We got an agent bleeding from the years. We're not getting a shred of usable testimony out of Eli Nabel. Not after you scared him half to death in my custody. You went behind my back with Waller and buried the investigation in the process. This... This is beyond the goddamn pale. What were you thinking? How could you undermine me like that? I'm sorry, Jim. I didn't mean for this to happen. No, I'm the one who's sorry. The trust between us, it's gone. Our partnership is over. No more sharing evidence. No more squad car backup. The GCPD can't support you anymore. You're being unreasonable, Gordon. You need my help protecting Gotham. If what happened at the precinct is protecting Gotham, I want no part of it. 
I just want to know how we got to such a messed up place. You're supposed to be the one with the answers, Commissioner. Way I see it, Batman took initiative getting a confession from me. You on the other hand, Gordon. Well, you've been two steps behind Riddler from the start. That is not fair! This mess here? That's on you. Batman's had his priorities straight, but you... Now wait a damn Your minute. stonewalling the agency has screwed us all! My thoughts exactly. If you spent less time complaining, maybe you'd get more done. You son of a... After all the things we went through together... That's enough, Commissioner. Consider it a kindness I don't just straight up get you demoted. Now leave us alone. We have sensitive case details to discuss. <laughs> you two deserve each other. This city is about to find itself in a crisis the likes of which it's never known. Riddler had a crew. Not just any crew. The worst criminal minds from all over the world, here in Gotham. You come across anything about them? I'm assuming you've heard of them by now. Let me know if you have anything to share. Riddler expected his friends to back him up tonight. Guess he wasn't as popular as he thought. That fits a theory we have. Evidence from his workshop suggests he was involved in a feud with another member of the group. Dr. Harleen Quinzel, former psychiatrist at Arkham Asylum. She's very elusive. Keeps her head down. Much more so than that show-off regular. He was going to be my way in once we captured him alive. But now I have you to lean on. A man who lives on both sides of the line. And knows exactly when to cross it. Yes. You and I will be working together very closely. Bruce Wayne.